she's my island, my fighting spirit. She is stronger than she will ever know. It's raining. Em's done my hair and makeup. Oh, how beautiful has she made me? Ooh, Drew Barrymore, eat your heart out. Um, it's raining. Mm, damn it, can't have everything though. Bless Jamie's put some white. Um, um, I don't even know what I'm saying. He's put some white things on the front of the car that make it look really nice. <laughs> um. I've been fine for the last two days. I've been better than I thought I would be, but I'm pretty nervous now. In a good way though, I can't wait to see Elise. I can't wait to see her, even if she is half hungover. <laughs> I'm just waiting for mum and Jim. Yeah, it's a shame about the weather, but hey, we're British. That's the way it is. I just hope perhaps um, it'll brighten up slightly for photos, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be traipsing over fields, which to be honest, even if it were dry, I'd have probably come back looking like a farmer's wife. Um, so no, that wouldn't have been very good. But yeah, all's good. There's about an hour and a half to go for the ceremony, so I'm signing off. No, those northern lights don't shine as bright as hell. I love you just the way God made you, girl. He don't make you call your imperfections I call beautiful, babe Tell them, Blanc The way your hair's in a mess in the morning when you open your eyes The way you know it goes by when you say that you be Come <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Hey. Hey. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, you're wow. gorgeous! Wow. <laughs> Yeah, don't want to get makeup on. I know, I know. Okay. Yeah, you look stunning. Oh my god. 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 Oh my Taking a shot. The little white lie that you told the security guard at the hotel pool when we got caught. I was thinking, girl, you never look so hot. Never look so hot. And that I love you just the way God made you, girl. He don't make mistakes. What you call your imperfections, I call beautiful, babe. So let my eyes be a mirror, and you're bound to see it too. Cause I was made for.
this way And darling, no, I might make mistakes But I'm willing to love you For the rest of my days If you're willing to trust me Darling, don't be afraid To have and to hold And never let go It will be old and gray But in love, 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 love You and I are
coming. Of all the places you've been and the people you've met, somehow you've ended up here with me. I used to think we met by chance, and thanks my lucky stars that my match profile made you stop, or at least the fact I was wearing a band t-shirt caught your eye. <laughs> but now I know without doubt that the universe put you in front of me because we were meant to spend our lives together. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you that you were my forever. You fill my life with joy and have given me a sense of peace that I have never known. You challenge me in ways that I've never been before and bring out a sense of adventure in me that you have in abundance. I still can't believe you've managed to convince me to trade a honeymoon in the sun for one on the slopes of the Alps. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that you have and push me to try new things. Your passion and only live once attitude is infectious. You're my best friend and biggest supporter, whether that's running beside me, even if you are secretly trying to beat me, or cheering me from the sidelines when yours is the only voice I can hear. You are always, you are there always, and that to me is what love is. Even though you put the toilet roll on the wrong way round, you cannot eat a single meal without spilling it down yourself. I'm worried for this dress today. Um, or, I can't remember where I am now. Um, I potentially haven't heard a single word of these vows so far because your head is all, always so full of songs and lyrics. This is a common occurrence in my life. There is not a single thing that I would change. To me, you are and will always be my version of perfect. I will never take our time together for granted. I promise to, keep, to encourage you to follow your dreams and to never give up on them. You know I'm your number one fan. Sorry, Carol. Um, I promise to hold your hand through the good times and the bad. I promise to be loyal and faithful, but to, but to you before all else. And I promise that when we are old and grey, we will look back on our lives together and come to no regrets. Chloe, I love you, and from this day forward, we will continue this journey called life together. striking blue eyes. From the initial contact, I knew you were something special. The fact your profile name was Foxy didn't attract me at all. <laughs> we hit it off straight away. Everything just literally fell into place. It was like we had known each other for a lifetime. As soon as I saw you in person, I knew you were the one I was going to marry. It's not very often I'm right, as Lisa reminds me quite often. <laughs> but I certainly was. Since the day we met, we've been inseparable, literally. We've smiled, we've laughed, we've cried, we've sang our hearts out and shown our true colours, yet we're still here, thick as thieves. I feel the luckiest woman alive ever since you came into my life. I don't believe I'd be the same woman that you see stood here today, had I have not met you. I arrived in Birmingham four years ago, a bit pretty broken and defeated. I left to start a new life with a completely different person. A completely different person, should I say. You helped me to find my way, it was you who helped me to find myself. That I will never forget, and I will thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I stand here today ready to make the commitment of being your wife. I promise to be your forever partner in crime, your protector. I vow to comfort, support, encourage, and inspire you each day of our lives together. I promise to be your honest, faithful, and loving wife. And I promise to continue cooking you meals so long as you continue to do the washing. <laughs> <laughs> I know this marriage is going to be a breeze because you are my happily ever after, wife and wife, hand in hand, two peas in a pod. So, the institution of marriage must be 
entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the unreserved consent of you both. Therefore, you, Lisa, take Chloe here present to be your lawful wedded wife. Thank you. Good answer. <laughs> and do you, Chloe, take Lisa here present to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Fantastic. <laughs> So now we have that agreement, I would like to invite Bianca to come up and give her a meeting. A soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys that fit our locks. When we, when we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out and we can be completely and honestly <coughs> We could be loved for who we are and not for who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. When we're two balloons and together our direction is up, chances are we found the right person. Our soulmate is the one who makes our life come to life. Thank you. Thank you. So, a few moments ago, you had agreed that you would quite like to marry each other. Okay? So, now we're going to say the vows and make that agreement legally binding. All right, so would you like to face each other again? And then, in the presence of your family and friends, I call upon, I call upon these persons here present, these persons here present, to witness that I, Lisa, to witness that I, Lisa, do take thee, Chloe, do take thee, Chloe, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. I will love and care for you. I will love and care for you. Honour and cherish you. Honour and cherish you. Whatever the future may bring. Whatever. by the giving and receiving of wedding rings. The ring is an unbroken circle, it has no beginning and no end, and it symbolizes everlasting love. It's also an outward sign of the commitment that you are making today and to give thanks to God. So, which one should we go with first? So, we'll go. We'll go. So, Alu, Alu, can we have the ring that we're going to give? Lisa is going to give you Chloe, please. Thank you. Oh, 
shy with you. I shy with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. For today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow. And for all our years to come. And for all our years to come. So may these rings serve as a reminder of the vows that you have made today and of the feelings that you both have in your hearts at this very moment. So, Lisa and Chloe, you have made the declarations required by law and you've also made your own very, very special promises to each other. It therefore gives me the greatest pleasure to say you are now married, you are now wife and wife.
things ain't been going my way, you know I need you here. You clear my mind all the time, and baby. The way you move me, it's crazy. It's like you see right through me and make it easier.
tonight. So, I'm so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't really want to do any formal speeches. We wanted to keep it casual today. But if anyone would like to get up and say something, there's no pressure. Uh, as long as it's nice. No. <laughs> if anyone would like to get up and say any words, you're more than welcome to. The, uh, the microphone and the floor is free. Don't worry if not. Enjoy the rest of your evening with us. Thank you very much. There's coffee outside, by the way. Oh, go for it. Go for it, Mary. Right, just want to say that was so proud of being here tonight. Thank you today and how proud we are that she's met Chloe and they make each other happy. That's all we wish for a happy life together. And that's what I can say. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and two, one, two, is up the same. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as Tommy's done, I'd just like to say, uh, first of all, it's, uh, I thought they looked beautiful today. Didn't you think they looked nice? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they did. lovely. And I'd like to welcome Lisa into the Chadwick clan. Thank you. It's, uh, it's you know, a, a really good addition to it. So I, I can tell you that you were happy when you asked me the other day, what's, what's with the name situation? I said, Chadwick, I, I, I saw you and you give her a little wink. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tell that's my girl. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, what really pleases me though is uh, Chloe has been a little bit of a, a loose cannon. Uh, but to be honest, since she's met Lisa, she, I've never seen her so happy and I've never seen her so settled and so content, which as a dad, that, that is a really nice, really nice feeling and a really nice way to be. Um, so I wish you both, I hope you're as happy in the years to come as you are today. I'm sure you will be. And I wish you a long and happy life together. And I'm looking forward to this. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Hang on, I'll just get the pages over. <laughs> oh, I really wasn't going to say anything. It was just something I wrote last night. <laughs> <laughs> sitting down comfortably. <laughs> well, at least I can say this is from the heart, so here we go. So today we have witnessed the marriage of both my daughter Chloe and my new daughter Lisa. The most beautiful and happiest couple ever. You know, life throws so many things at us all and we are only on this planet once. I'm sure that all of us here have had good and bad times in our lives and our family are no exception. The secret is to find out who we are, what we want in life and then go for it. As parents, all we want is for our children to be healthy and happy in their own lives. It was never easy with Chloe. <laughs> and it still isn't, if I'm honest. <laughs> I think the red hair, sorry Chloe, strawberry blonde, <laughs> had something to do with it. As a kiddie, she insisted on never taking off her green frog wellies. <laughs> Hayley, you can witness that, can't you, Hayley? Wherever we went, no matter what she wore, she insisted on these bloody green frog wellies. <laughs> Wherever we went. She was so determined, competitive, self-willed, but she was just so lovable. Everyone loved and still loves our Chloe. Singing and performing now has been the making of her and her talent speak for themselves. And I and the Noah dad are both very, very proud of her. Chloe meeting Lisa is a real deal and having spent lots of time... I'll turn the page for you, won't <laughs> Having spent lots of time with these two girls getting to know each other right from the start in Barn Green, Worcester, we knew that this was it. They have turned their lives around together. They have both worked so hard to ensure that today would be their special day. Ensuring above all that the family and friends will celebrate this day with them. I hope you all agree that they look absolutely amazing, as do both their bridesmaids, Steph and Olivia. They now have to focus in their life. They support each other totally 
and have made their commitment to each other today with all their family and friends present. Today has been solely organised by them. Covid or no Covid, nothing was ever going to get in their way. What a fantastic job they have done, I'm sure you'll all agree with that. Fantastic venue. It's the first time as parents we've been here to see it. So you've done us both proud today. So as a mum, I am very, very proud of them both and I wish you a very long, happy and healthy life together. Let's all stand and raise a glass for these two Sister, gormously looking at the TV for hours and end, uh, mouth wide open, watching the TV, no one can get her attention. <laughs> Singing contest back at home, which I regularly won well, well, well before the X Factor came up. <laughs> 2,000 copies that she made of her, of her first album, uh, paid for, still sat in my mum's garage. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in the Alps. Phone call to my mum at two o'clock in the morning, you need to come and get me. Which she did. Dog bites and uh, whatever else up at the hospital. My me, mum me and both my dad going to get her and take her up to the, to, to the hospital, having been bitten by, bitten by a dog and various other things. <laughs> the tennis racket episode. What, you shot the ball at the back of the head? No, the one, where me, the one where my dad got that frustrated, he smashed it across oh, the floor yeah. 5,000 times in rage. <laughs> <laughs> There's no health and safety or anything, no, you <laughs> Cal welfare was fine, by the way. The whole North East, ep North, uh, North East episode, uh, as Chloe's already said, and, uh, uh, and lastly, before we move on to the North East episode, she was always better at cricket and football than I was. <laughs> You're right there. Um, she, Chloe's already mentioned when she came back to me, Mum and Jim's from the North East, she was, she was um, um, battered, bruised, uh, not herself. Um, literally, but also metaphorically, and uh, to see her now where she is from uh, from that time, that's testament to you, Lisa, and uh, from from us. And my dad's already spoke, my mum also, but there's a uh, there's a lot of family members here tonight. But that's testament to you, Lisa, and we really do welcome you. And the the change in our flow, and she's always been a worry, but actually, <laughs> actually now she actually seems uh, a level playing field. Um, <laughs> And my mum and dad are only slightly less worried. Uh, in fact, right here, right now, they're probably more worried about me for the first time ever. Um, but welcome to the family, Lise. And uh, uh, I want everyone to have a good night tonight. Everyone enjoy themselves. It's amazing that everyone's here tonight. We don't do it enough. And uh, great that moments like this bring everyone together. But best of luck uh, to you both. Don't uh, don't look and, and ask across the room for advice because most of you, most of us, won't be able to give you any good advice <laughs> if we're honest. Um, but listen, stay true to each other, be best mates. What you've said today is amazing. Hold on to that and uh, wish you both the very best of luck. Thank you. I have to tell you before that, uh, Carol and I. Both had sad moments when our partners died, and when we got together, um, I didn't expect we'd have a daughter to come and live with us. But Chloe came down, and she's became the daughter that I never had. And uh, I love her to death. Uh, she came down, she made herself a new life. She got a job in the black country. Uh, I mean, coming down to Birmingham was a problem, but to live in the black country, but they speak yow yow. It's quite, a, it's quite a, an effort. But she did that and um, she uh, interpreted it for me and I used to work in my country. Um, and then she met uh, this girl on a, a dating app 
and uh, this name Lisa kept coming to us um, but uh, we did meet her for a, a few weeks and we all went to Portugal Carol stayed on because she loves the sun as you know uh, I had to come back for work commitments as did uh, Chloe and um, I um, as we came out of uh, customs Chloe ran off and embrace this girl <laughs> uh, who worked for Swan Rentals or something like that. But the way they looked at each other was quite amazing. I was quite taken by it. And I've never been taken by anything like that in my life before. But the way they looked at each other was quite, well, just uh, thought, that's incredible. And, um, and Carol was terribly worried about this new relationship because of past history. Let me tell you, it was, um, I just said to her, don't worry, I said, they are so lovely, both of them, and I think this is it, and I've still got the text, but I sent to her. Um, it is it, and they're a most lovely couple. Um, Chloe lived with us for 18 months, and I had the daughter that I never had, having two boys, which I love to death, obviously. And um, and now I've got two daughters, so um, it's a great thing for me. So can I close it? Yet another toast to two lovely ladies. Yes. Chloe and Liz. Dancing in the 
in the streets I don't want to be a one-man band I don't want to be a rolling stone alone Put miles on a run-down band Baby, we can take our show on the road I lay it out with me, you carry the tune We'll get tattoos, we trash hotel rooms Baby, take my hand I try to discover 